six, Diana's Tiger Dream. Listen. Diana had a beautiful big bedroom, with big windows and a big balcony. She had lots of different computer games, DVDs, CDs, and clothes. She had new roller skates and a new guitar and hundreds of coloring pencils. But Diana wasn't a happy child. Oh, I want to be happy. Diana thought one night when she went to bed. I know. I can ask Mum and Dad to buy me a longer skateboard, a nicer bike, and some more exciting games. Yes, that's a good idea. She thought, and went to sleep. That night, she had a very strange dream. In her dream, Diana saw a lake and a big mountain. There was a small white boat in the water. She got into it and sailed to a cave, which she could see on the other side of the lake. It was very quiet and dark near the rocks in front of the cave. Diana couldn't hear any birds or any animals. She could only hear the wind. She couldn't see the top of the mountain. She could only see the light of the moon and stars on the water. Diana jumped out of the boat. She saw some steps in the cave and went down, down, down inside the mountain. The cave got darker, and darker, and darker. Diana counted the steps: forty-four, forty-five, sixty-one, sixty-two. Ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred. At the bottom of the steps, Diana saw a small orange light in front of her. It got bigger and bigger. <gasps> It's a tiger. Diana thought. The tiger walked slowly towards her. Diana didn't feel afraid. Ask me a question, child. The tiger said quietly. Why aren't I the happiest child in the world? Diana asked. I have hundreds of games in my bedroom, hundreds of different clothes. Hundreds of CDs that I can listen to, and DVDs that I can watch. Hmm. People aren't happy because they have things, child. The tiger said. Be kind to your friends, and be kind to animals, and enjoy the light from the sun, moon, and stars. Do that. And you can be happy again. Then Diana woke up. She heard her phone. Her friends never called her before breakfast. Hi, Diana. It's Jack here. Uh, you and I never talk at school because you're always too busy. But. I can't do our music homework. You're very good at music.、Uh, can you help me with that? I've got a new guitar too. I know you're very good at playing the guitar. Can you、uh, can you help me learn to play the guitar too? Diana thought about her dream. She smiled and said, "Yes, Jack." I can help you with your homework this afternoon, 
And we can talk about guitars then, too. Ah, <sighs> that's great! Jack said. You're very kind. <sighs> Thanks a lot. Diana went downstairs to have her breakfast. In the kitchen, her mum said, Diana, we've got something for you. But I don't want a nicer bike or a... Diana started to say. Her mum pointed to a black and orange kitten and said, Dad found it in the street last night. Be kind to it. It needs a good friend. Diana thought about her dream again. She picked the kitten up and smiled at it. Hello, she said. You're like a tiger that I know, but you're smaller and more beautiful. What tiger? Diana's mum asked. But Diana didn't answer. I feel very happy this morning, Mum. She said. I can help my new friend Jack to do his homework and to learn the guitar. I can be kind to this funny little kitten and look at the sun. It's a beautiful sunny day outside. Wow! I feel great! Thank <music> you.